Hey everybody, welcome Troop 50, 73, sorry Troop 73, to the, to the uh, Photography Merit Badge. And today Udam's going to help me with the Photography Merit Badge. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and start and look at the requirements of the Photography Merit Badge. Will you read uh, requirement number one, Udam? Read it really loudly. Safety. To the following. Explain to your counselor the most likely hazards you may encounter while working with photography and what you should do to anticipate, mitigate, mitigate uh, prevent and respond to these hazards. Explain how you should, would prepare for exposure to environmental situations such as weather, sun, and water. Okay, what do you think? Do you have any ideas? What kind of hazards do you have as a photographer? Don't drop your camera. Don't drop your camera. Why don't you want to drop your camera? Very expensive. Okay? Yeah. What else? What might cause you to drop your camera? Mm. You can look at the camera. Shock. Shock? What kind of shock? Like somebody scares you. Somebody scares you? So you want to make sure that wherever you're taking your picture, your feet are on the ground, you're, you're in a safe position, you know, sometimes when you're behind a camera, it's deceiving because you don't see things the same way as you do and you're looking for that perfect shot and you're looking through your camera and sometimes you can walk into a hole. You can, if, especially if you're moving, you can, people have fallen off of cliffs before taking pictures, especially in the day of, now we have selfies and things like that. There's a place where I went last year called um, Horseshoe, Horseshoe Canyon, I believe it is, in uh, Utah, the border of Utah and Arizona. And people, they can see the, the Colorado River, river do a, a thing. So people want to get a, a selfie there. And they, every year they have four or five people die, die trying to get a selfie, you know, so they can get the perfect shot. And selfies are photography also. So you need to be aware of your surroundings. You need to be careful when you're taking a picture. Make sure that you're safe as a photographer and don't, do anything that might hurt other people. There's other things, like for example, we have a microphone here, and we have wires. So when you have wires that are walking around, or running around, you need to be careful where you walk. You need to be careful where you walk, and the camera is sitting on a tripod. You need to be careful not to hit the tripod, you know, and things like that. So there's a lot of things you need to be careful with. Uh, so be aware of your surroundings, and always be careful. Okay, why don't you go ahead and read Actually, let's go ahead and read number three, requirement number three first. Explain the basic parts and operation of a camera. Explain how an exposure is made when you take a picture. Okay, all right. So we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about the parts of a camera right now. Right in front of you, I have different kinds of cameras. So I have, uh, right here, I have uh, a little, little tiny, uh, they used to call these Instamatic cameras. Uh, some people call them PhD cameras. Push here dummy. Uh, push here dummy. <laughs> PhD camera because it does everything auto for you pretty much. Um, so these are so uh, different kinds of cameras. This camera here is a waterproof camera with a GPS and I use this, I use this, I don't use it anymore, when I would go scuba diving and things like that and it would track where I was diving in the ocean and and then uh, it would, uh, it can go underwater up to, I believe, a uh, hundred feet or so. So it's pretty, pretty good for that. But uh, let me ask you a question, and you can answer me on a private message. This has a GPS sensor right here, so this uh, brings in GPS. Does GPS work underwater? That's a question I want you to answer. Does GPS work underwater? Google it. Don't Google it. Well, you can Google it, but I want, I want to private message me or email me the answer to that question, okay? Does GPS work underwater? Um, okay, and then we'll talk about that one later. Okay, this, this here, um, so the whole camera in general, for example, this is called a camera body. This is a camera body, and then this, without the lens, this is called a camera body also. So this is a camera body. It's the body that houses the brains. It's the, it houses, everything is digitized nowadays pretty much. 
So it ha has all the circuit boards, it has the sensors, which are important. Um, so the light comes through where the lens would be, and this is an old camera, so I don't mind opening it up, but normally a newer camera, I would not open this up. So this is, uh, there's a mirror inside there, and the mirror is allowing me to look through this hole right here and see what you can see through here. And when you, when you push the, the shutter button, this releases that mirror instantaneously within like milliseconds it releases that and behind that mirror is the sensor that receives the light from the lens that converts the light that's coming in into a digital picture so in the old days there was negatives there was there was film behind here and it would expose the negative instantaneously to light that would go on the film so, um, but nowadays it's with a digital sensor, so that is all captured digitally in that sensor, and that sensor is about that big. It's about an inch wide, an inch tall inside there. So, this is the camera body. This is a lens. All of these, this is a lens, this is a lens, this is a lens, this is a lens. This, that's a lens cover. Well, that's not a lens cover. This is a lens cover, but this is a lens shield, which you can put on the end, this one's not made for this lens, but you can put it on the end here to block sunlight from coming in. So if you're, like if the sun's coming in at a sharp angle and it's affecting the light on your lens, you can adjust this to block the light so that it won't shine on that lens and then cause your picture to, to not be clear. So anytime you're, you're shooting towards the sun or where there's a direction of the sun, this is good to have. So this is just a, a cover and they usually come with most lenses all right and so even on a small one where it is the this is all the body together this is the lens here this there is a sensor in these but the sensor is about the size of my fingernail instead of the size of this so that's why it's really going to be years and years and years before uh, a camera could ever take the kind of pictures that a big camera like this can take. And then this is called a filter. A filter, they make them for various sizes. A filter goes on the top of the lens and will adjust the light in certain ways. So this looks like a uh, Polaroid filter, which makes your clouds look a lot neater uh, when you take a picture. They also have filters which have different colors and things like that, uh, which you can put on and if you're just popping quick, uh, quick pictures and that kind of stuff, you probably wouldn't mess with different filters and things like that. But uh, uh, if, you're, if you're really serious about photography and making that perfect picture, these are some of the things that you would be involved in. So these are the parts of a camera. On the lens itself, we have different kinds of lenses. So let me just quickly go over the kinds of lenses that we have here because they're, they're all different kinds. Oh, sorry, this is a flash. So in the camera itself, there's a flash, which is on here, a, a built-in flash, but this one is very direct. It's uh, very harsh. The light is very, very bright. So you can, you can attach a flash like this onto the top, and, and then you can do the flash this way through here, and you, you have to adjust a lot of things, so you have to Google a lot of things to figure out how to use these. You adjust the light, you can ad adjust, so this, the light when it, when it goes, if it's shooting directly at him, it'll wash out his face. If I shoot off the roof, it'll come and light up the top of his head instead of his face, so that might be an effect you're looking for. Or if I shoot behind him, it might light up the back of him and make his face, so don't look so thrilled, please. Okay, all right, let's, uh, let's go quickly now. So these are the parts of the camera, and so for the mirror badge, I'd like you to list out uh, the parts of the camera, just list them out, and then uh, so that you, you know what each part is and what it does. Okay? All right, Adam, read number two. Look at the camera when you read. Uh, explain how the following so we have the following elements and terms that can affect the quality of a picture. Light, natural light, uh, ambient, existing, low light, such as at night, and artificial light, such as from a flash. Uh, 
to B, exposure, aperture, F, stops, uh, shutter speed, and ISO. Uh, to C, depth of field, um, 2D, composition, rule of thirds, leading lines, framing, depth, uh, 2E, angle of view, uh, 2F, stop action and blur motion, and uh, 2G, decisive moment, action or expression captured by the photographer. All right, thank you.